All right, so quick Canva tutorial for those of you that decide to go the Canva route. Now, here on Canva, it's 100% free if you don't wanna grab Photoshop and Lightroom. I would recommend that you do though. Now, if you're on Canva, what you can do is you can create a design or you can simply go to one of the designs that they have pre-templates down here. So like YouTube channel art, obviously like Instagram posts. And if you scroll over enough, there's gonna be a YouTube one somewhere or YouTube thumbnail right there. Or you can simply create a design if you wanna add your own custom dimensions in and then obviously type the pixel ratio in there, right? So let's say for example that you wanted like, you know, obviously like a 1920 by 1080 is your generic, you know, thumbnail that fits most places and most sites. But like, for example, if you had to do like, I don't know, an IG story one or something that's like a little bit more different, you wanna get the pixel ratio for that and then obviously type it in and create your new design. Now I already showed you how to do that in Lightroom and Resize, but that's how you're gonna do it uh, with Canva, okay? So then you're gonna create your new design and same thing, right? So if we go up to uploads, they already have pre, you know, selected thumbnails or photos in here and elements, you know, some text and some stuff that you can add for backgrounds. Now you can obviously add a background layer here if you want. You can also fill it with a background color or you can add a picture just like I showed you with Lightroom, okay? So we already have that picture from our downloads that I showed you before. So we're gonna upload an image into our photo. And keep in mind too that now because we created those custom dimensions for 1920 by 1080, we have the actual thumbnail already sized that we can just drag out uh, you know, to our you know, pixel ratio. So if we go to downloads really fast, here's the original photo that we grabbed. Um, and here's the one that we updated in Lightroom. So we wanna grab the original one so I can show you how this looks, okay? And then once it finally uploads, I'm going to select it and drag it in here and then resize it a little bit and drag it out. Now, one of the things that I don't like about Canva, which is another reason I select or I suggest using Lightroom and Photoshop is when you drag it sometimes because this is a free software, it distorts the image quality a little bit. So when I drag this out, Every once in a while it does that. It doesn't do it every time in my experience, and I don't use Canva that much, um, but every once in a while it does distort the image quality uh, that you're gonna see. So there we go, same thing roughly. I'm gonna, you know, if we double click it and we drag it over a little bit, because that looks like what's where the focus is on that picture, and we hit okay. There we go. So now we have a 1920 by 1080, same rough background image, but we need to brighten it, okay? So if we select the picture now, right, and you click on the actual image and you come up here to adjust, then you can obviously drag the contrast, same thing as Lightroom. It's not gonna be as good, but it still will do its job. And remember, this is free. You can also drag the, you adjust the saturation a little bit as well. And you can also tint it or you know increase or decrease the brightness as you see fit obviously depending on whether it's a bright or a dark photo, okay? You can also play around with the other ones, but the only ones that I've ever really used, I touched with tint a little bit, although I don't really recommend that you do that. It can look good on some pictures, but you know, like I said, use it sparingly or it's gonna look too cartoonish. Really, all you really need to know is brightness is there if you need it. Contrast and saturation, just like in Lightroom, although one of the things that isn't in Lightroom is the actual, uh, you you're not gonna have the vibrance option, okay? So, Let's say that we wanna just adjust the, the contrast a little bit, it's probably a little too much, and maybe the saturation just slightly, and then we're gonna hit enter, and that should uh, you know, drag that. Now, same thing here with the text, you can add some text, and they have some pre-text you know, text designs, pre kind of loaded in here. You can also create text and then adjust the uh, font up here and the sizing. Um, so if we wanna do like, for example, um, travel, photography and then made simple and then we drag that up and we can also adjust the like I said you can you can switch the font here some of them are paid fonts but there's a lot of free ones as well you can adjust the color of that you can also adjust the sizing you can bring it to life with an actual if you go over to elements again you can bring it to life with a rectangle in the background. It's not gonna look the same as obviously a Photoshop one will, but it's just something that you can you know, keep in mind. And then if you needed to position this, you could hit position and then backward and then do it like that, right? So like I said, this is not ideal, but if you're looking for something free, this technique can obviously help you with that. So I'm gonna X out of this and I'm just gonna add this up here. And then obviously if I wanted to, I could bring my own picture in as well just to kind of give you some reference. Go to important pictures, cutouts of me. Let's add the suit one here. 
and bam, right? So this is something that you can use if you elect to go this route, like I'd recommend. You can't obviously add like a shadow, you can't add the same effects, it's not gonna look the same, but it is a good free option for those of you that wanna go this route, you know, right out of the gate.